That is disgusting. G Jesus F and Christ. Okay, here we go again. When I pushed the victim. That guy. He was talking all bad about Dolly. Dude, I don't care if she likes lol cats. She's a babe. I lost my temper and gave her a shove. And then I said, can I have cheeseburgers? I don't know why I said that. It was weird. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back, but he was just lying there dead. Okay. Well, the explanation is really quite simple. Oh, I agree. But, you know, for the, the, the viewers at home who aren't as sharp as you and me, Mr. Payne, please, uh, clue them in. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallow flew back and touched the electrical cable. He died from the shock. And that, as they say, is that. My God. A simple explanation, indeed, yet effective. He really painted a picture with his words. I gotta have him. I gotta have him to do him. That's pretty good. At the time of the incident, a light rain had been falling. Wet from the rain. The victim was more easily electrocuted. But, but, uh, when I pushed him, there wasn't any electrical cables nearby at all. There had been something like that. Even I would have noticed it. Come on, man. That's right. Even a doofus like him couldn't miss the <laughs> doofus. Me, a doofus. That's a little mean. Shame's not mean, Mia. I'm sorry. Mm, Miss Faye, let me warn you right now. Call, calling your client a doofus is right. He was seeking higher education. Well, I don't know. And one thing led to another, and now he's killed a man. But I, if your cross examination does not yield any new facts. I intend to deliver my vedette without further delay. Are we clear? Yes, Your Honor. Don't give up, Mia. You got this. Come on. If he is innocent, there must be some kind of evidence. Some there, somewhere, that will prove it. I don't know. I mean... Nah, I got nothing, bruh. So much for patting myself on the back, but, you know, this is what this is for. That guy was talking bad about Dolly. Saying she was a memer? What's so wrong about that? Huh? We all love a good rage comic now and again. Is that a crime? So what kind of things did Mr. Swallow say to you? He said all sorts of no good, dirty, nasty fibs about my dear beloved Dolly. He said that she was a bad girl. And I'm not talking, oh, she's a bad girl. I'm talking that she was bad. Like, bad. Mm. Mm. Uh, is it, is that it? Like, that's it? That, that's, that's why you killed a man? Yep. I mean, no, 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 no. Miss Fay, you heard him yourself. Oh boy, you're not doing yourself any favor here, Mr. Wright. Please don't make this harder for me than it already is. But she is bad. Everybody knows it. After he said that, I, I just... I don't know. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. Okay, then what happened? Did you storm off? Were you bitter? You go... Like, what, what, that? Can you tell me what happened in a little more detail, please? That guy, he just said what he wanted to say to me. And, uh... Ah, uh, the light drizzle was a thing. He has an umbrella, duh. Then he put on the jacket he was holding and started to leave. Okay. That's when, that's when I lost my temper and flew into a furious frenzy. Come on, come on, Phoenix. You need DHC hyper combo him, bro. Wait, is that why they, is that why Phoenix sneezes in Marvel's Capcom 3 Ultimate? Or is it Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3? It's semantics don't matter right now. He has a sneezing move in that game. Is that a reference to this? I thought he just did it because it was effing funny. Okay, so yeah. And then you did your, you know, OTG and you comboed into kill. All right. I just gave him a light, gentle shove to the chest, but man, he he really took it hard. Like, bro, I'm not that strong. I, he just he just flew over like it was nothing. I, 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 God, is he French? I can't make fun of the French anymore. I found out I'm not even French, y'all. Messed up. For 
half of my life, I thought I was Hispanic. That's not even a joke. I literally thought it was. My grandparents spoke Spanish. I'm like, okay, I'm Hispanic. That adds up. Then my mom said, we're probably French. I'm like, okay, that adds up. You know, that, that's not even true. I'm just everything. Scammed. Anyway, where was I? When you did that, there was no severed cable anywhere to be seen, correct? Yeah. There is nothing like that at all. But it's possible that you merely overlooked it in your rage of defending your lover? Uh, well, I guess it's possible. No, no uh, you're never certain of anything, Phoenix. What are you doing? Don't let that guy steamroll over you like a cheap asphalt. Come on. I believe what's important here is a moment out to push a career. Let's continue with testimony. Get it? Yeah, what time did this happen? At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. What, what was going on? Come on. A loud noise. And what would you say that loud noise was, Mr. Wright, if you had to guess? I'm not sure, but it was really loud. It was like, snap! You know, like, uh... Come to think of it, I wonder what that actually was. Well, it probably wasn't a bullet, since the autopsy didn't return that. <laughs> Clearly, Your Honor, it was the sound of the victim being electrocuted. No, we don't know that for certain. You're not qualified to decide that. Dang. What should I do? I'm treading on some dangerous ground here. A ask for more details. Come on. you got to remember something. Mr. Wright, that loud noise you heard may be extremely important. So try to remember what it was. Uh, how do I put it? It was like a sharp crack. Oh, God, like a whip? <laughs> no. <laughs> Von Karma will be 11 at this time. Does that add up? I don't know. That should be 13. Why is Ron Karma so young? That's silly. I'm still mad about that. Could it... Could it have been? <gasps> Audible gasp! Yes? Could it have been what? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on! When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's gone. Okay. So, that... It, yeah, it, that's also in the picture. He fell right on top of it and broke it. That's probably the noise I heard. So that wasn't when he died. Yeah, yeah. It's over there, too. God dang, that thing flew. Well, that's understandable. It's, you know, umbrellas are lightweight for a reason. An umbrella, huh? All right. Uh, that umbrella belonged to the victim. Yeah, it was a plastic umbrella, cheap and frail. Kind of like the owner. <laughs> Sir, you're on trial. I'm sorry. Uh, then again, I, I wish I had... Any kind of umbrella. I was totally soaked to the bone. Hmm, Miss Faye, what do you think? Is there something important in that testimony just now? I'm sorry, what? I dozed off. Okay, um, of course it's important, Your Honor. This is it, Mia. The new information you've been waiting for. Totally. I hope. Of course it's important. No, this cheap umbrella is more important than important. It's a vital. I want to officially have it entered into the testimony. How perfectly fitting. Flimsy information for a flimsy lawyer. Duh, oh, you ain't that tough. Court agrees with defense request. Get his umbrella in here. Make sure it's cheap and edible. I'm, I'm really hungry, by the way. After I showed him, he fell down on top of his cheap umbrella. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. Maybe I'm buying the umbrella? Let's just, let's just, you know, I don't want to be... I, I, I'm really kind of at a loss here, but... Mr. Swallow fell on top of his umbrella. Are you certain of this? Yeah, it was right there under him. Actually, if it hadn't been under him, I was planning on barring it for myself. <laughs> what? Yeah, just, you know, I just... He's dissing my fly, girl. I'm just gonna push him down and see those things. That's how bad boy Phoenix Wright does things. You... The umbrella, you mean. You, you plan to steal his umbrella. Well, yeah, you see, I was wearing the sweater here. Dolly stayed up all night knitting it for me. Oh, that's kind of cute. I want the rain to dampen the handmade symbol of our love. Come on! Uh, my, my, my stomach's not used to your personal soccer ball, Mia. My stomach is not used as your personal soccer ball. Did you, did you kick him in the stomach, Mia? That cannot be good for his hemorrhoids. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry just came out of nowhere. No, what? 
Assault and battery is another crime. Okay, c continue with the testimony. All right, so Phoenix is madly in love. We get it. That's all we discern from that, which is honestly pretty surprising. He's kind of... He's kind of an a-hole. I mean, in, in, in Phoenix right too, he definitely was. I was not impressed. Disappointed at times. But, uh, I digress. I started to get worried. He came back. But he just... He was... He was... He was there dead. Okay, did you notice anything... Yeah, did you notice anything different in the, sci the, crime, the crime scene? Oh my god, stop. I can't... I can't fake cough or I'll get hiccups and actually just... I can't finish the video if I hiccups. It's a dangerous line. I can't do that. Uh, nope. Nobody. Nobody was there. Could that stupid cough sound any more phony? Wait, so he's faking it? Oh, I can fake cough. Hold up. <coughs> I can't fake sneeze, though. That's a... That's nasty. Hmm. In that case, it's very hard to believe someone else could have been the murderer. Unless we fought something that shows his innocence for... Hold on, I need to look up how his voice used to sound in Phoenix Right One. <coughs> Let me try. Unless we find something that shows his innocence from the testimony, my dear. I'm afraid the judge will make his decision with no remorse whatsoever. Uh, yes, sir. I... Okay, I gotta focus and stop worrying about the past. I now need more information. Info that help me turn up some contradictions. What is the problem here? I... Okay, so we pushed him over. But... After a little while, I left and start... Why would he come back? If he really did plan... If he planned to kill him, why would he return? That's what I'm worried. That's what I doesn't add up to me. So let's start that. I don't know why I did that to start. After you shoved the victim, did you leave the scene right away? Oh, well, yeah. I admit, I, I was furious. You left without even checking Mr. Swallow's condition? <laughs> well, yeah. Like I said, I got worried about him later. But why? Why did he get so went back? Just lying there dead. That didn't really yield anything. Hold up. It has to be about the umbrella. Let's see. Wait! If if it was under him, how did the umbrella get over there? Fell down on top of his umbrella. Hold up! Oh, this isn't good for Phoenix. No, he's not lying about this. Maybe someone... Yeah, someone could have moved the body! Why didn't you testify about the umbrella from the very beginning? Come on! If I'd mentioned that... I would have been able to counter the prosecution's arguments earlier. Is that what you're about to say? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Take another look at the crime scene photo. Mm -hmm. According to Mr. Wright, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. However, if you look at the cl photo closely, the umbrella is nowhere near the victim. Actually, it's by the electric pole. You're right. The conclusion here is obvious. After the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. In other words... After he pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow is still alive. That's true. Because, dude, he's also not on his back. Like how Phoenix pushed him. Why is he face forward? I didn't even think of that. Uh, the victim moved? Maybe due to the extra shock? Ah, Mr. Payne, the umbrella in that photo. There. Where was it now? I'd like to investigate it. Maybe discern how cheap these materials truly are. Well, it was collected by the police at the crime scene. I want to present it right here. Right now. On my desk. By yesterday. And by now, I mean... Oh, there it is. Ooh, that crescendo. Woo! Phoenix Ray! God dang. Owned by the victim. Found near an electric pole. Okay, at the crime scene. Alright, nothing checks out by there. My umbrella could have simply blown by the wind. Nah, -uh, bruh. According to the testimony, the victim fell on top of the umbrella, which means this 22-year-old gentleman's whole body weight would be suppressing it. Come on! There's simply no way it could have been blown by the wind! Yeah, maybe it was a typhoon? I don't know! <laughs> I know this matter of the umbrella seems relatively trivial, but as long as the smartest doubt it remains, I cannot render final judgment. So we ain't gonna do that, alright? Oh, you don't really, you're not really the boss of me now, so I'm just gonna do it. I must say, I still find it hard to believe 
Had a huge hole has been blown in the prosecution's case by just a flimsy, cheap, and honestly kind of gaudy plastic umbrella. Ah. Okay, we got a testimony. Nice. Well done, me. Well, I, I have to. Well done, me. Huh? You're great. Really. I'll never betray you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Payne, what, what are you chuckling about? Is it a knock-knock joke? I'm a fan, now let me tell you. There's this one I heard as a boy now by the creek, and I nearly fell in that one. Pardon me, Your Honor. It seems I was expecting too much of a free ride. That was a foolish move to think I could establish guilt through cross-examination alone. <laughs> I don't... I always see what you're getting at. I mean, we all take shortcuts in life, but I... There was one time by the bend, and I... What is he playing at? Let me guess. You have another witness, don't you? Exactly! And this witness testimony will be incontrovertible. I don't know what that means, man. All right, who the witness? Come on. Miss Dahlia... Hoth... Hoth Hothrone. I... Is that how you say that? Hothrone? You mean Dolly? Oh, goodness, no. Oh, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> the defendant's very own lover is a witness to the whole thing! Huh? That's right. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place! What? This is... This is awkward, no. I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, my dear. Huh? Dang. Dang. Get him. Get him. Get him! Bad news, you couldn't be more wrong. Actually, I've been waiting for this. You, you can't be serious. M me? What do you mean by that? I think it's a good point of us to stop. Court will resume in tw 20 minutes. Afterward, we'll listen to the testimony of Miss Dolly Hawthorne. Hawthorne. I don't get the pun yet. Whatever. F it. I'm out. Later. Okay. April 11th. 11.52 a.m. I don't think I did that bad. You know, it took me a little bit on that one contradiction. We got there. Oh, he looks so depressed. Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry about what happened back there. I... It's all right. At least you told us the truth in the end, mister, right? Yeah... So I guess I can start relaxing then, huh? Relax, my boy. You can't be serious! I'm hiding such important facts! Come on! But, but the witness is my dolly, right? She'll save me! I just know she will! Why do you think that, Mr. Wright? Uh, what do you mean? She's the love of my life, that's why! Come on! We're two peas in a pot! She's my best friend! You know what they say about your best friend? You gotta marry your best friend. The, the love of your life. Okay, um... Would you mind telling me more about you and Miss Dahlia, Hearthrone? Uh, sure, no problem. So, Dolly and I, we first met about eight months ago, right in this very courthouse. What? I'm hoping they're talking about jury duty. What? Actually, I'm studying to be a lawyer on the side. Uh, anyway, one day she and I just bumped into each other in the reading room downstairs. Oh, That's why I really think fate has brought us together. As soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Oh, here, take a look at this. Uh, it's kind of gaudy. She gave me this the day we met at the symbol of our love. The, the day we met. Jewelry on not just the first date, the first glance, Phoenix? Ladies at home. Is Phoenix jewelry at first date material? I don't, I don't, I, seems kind of weird. I'm a little suspicious now. Maybe she got it from the dollar store. I don't know. She had been wearing it around her neck that day, but then she took it off. Before she gave it to me, she said, uh, I don't know how she'd sound. I want you to carry this. So I gave it to you as a present, I see. Wow. Lucky boy. <laughs> Except right now. Uh... This darling little bottle is filled with memories of my darling little dolly. It certainly is a little bottle, all right. 
Makes me so happy. I show it to everyone I meet, honestly. I want to share my happiness with the whole world. Uh-huh. Small bottle necklace to write on the day they met. He shows it to everyone. Okay. Um, anyway. So after that, you and Mr. Er, excuse me. Miss Hawthorne started dating? Yeah. But she's so shy. So shy, in fact, she gave me jewelry around the first like, moment I met her. Uh, every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. What? Huh? What a strange girl! Asking for a present back like that. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Wright, the day you first met Dahlia Hawthorne, eight months ago, it wouldn't happen to have been on August 27th, would it? Huh? Yeah, it was. How'd you... How did you know that? This happened on August 27th, right here in this courtroom. Oh, they print the news here? No, it, it's a newspaper clipping. Phoenix. They might print the newspapers down. I don't know, actually. Anyway, not important. Let's see. Murder in the courthouse. A murder? What are you reading there? Let me see that. Oh, I see. Mia, I think I understand what you're trying to say. I think I understand why you suddenly took such a keen interest in the case. You believe there's some connection between these two cases. Am I correct about that? Uh... I... Don't see what's going on here. I hope you don't mind, Mr. Grossberg. I I need to finish this myself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I, I'm afraid you have to will not. You have will not enough, my dear. I'll go and have a look in the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Grossberg. I want to do whatever I can to be a help to you, Mia. Well, it looks like Reese is about to be over. I'll be getting all back now. Uh, I guess so. That re recess sure seemed longer than 20 minutes. I'm kind of confused. The dump is going on. I guess I'll have to find it next time. Whee! Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Oh my god, new jingle so effing good! <clears throat> hey guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. This time. What, what are we doing again? I, I, it's been a while, I forgot. Oh yeah! We're not Grossberg anymore. I'm cool with that, F it! Go on now, reconvene. Did y'all miss me? I miss you. I guess lonely up here. The next person is someone who met me. Where does the crime as it happened? The prosecution calls Miss Dahlia Hawthorne to the stand. There she goes. An umbrella as well. I... What? I don't... What is going on here? She's kind of creepy. What's with this stiff silence? I don't like this vibe. What is this? Is she... Hold on. There's a Japanese word for this. I know it. Dump. Except I don't know it at this exact moment. It's a type of, like, stupid, like, cliche. Dump. How could I... F Ugh, anyway, it doesn't matter. In my long career as a judge, Ash, I've been deceived by many witness size. It's my job to doubt. Take no one at their word. But in your case, I must admit, you radiate a glow of complete sin sincerity. She kind of... She's not my type, I don't know. I can't believe he actually said that. This is messed up. This is kind of objectifying. I don't know. Johnny, you can't really talk anyway. Uh, now the witness, could you please state your full name? I, um... Don't worry, sweetie. No need to be so nervous. Come on, speak your mind. If anyone says anything rude, you can be sure I'll cut them right down to size. And I'll bash them with my gavel. You have his sword. And my axe. I mean, my gavel. Ah. I love how they look straight at me when they say that. Lovely. Thank you. For calming my nerves. You were all so nice. I almost feel right at home. Not at all. <laughs> 
Oh, it, it was nothing. Come on. We, I do anything for a Southern Belle. Huh? If we may move on now, what is your full name and occupation? My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a junior in literature at Ivy University. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. My honor's all mine. The honor's actually all mine. Well, we know whose milkshake brings all the boys to the... I felt, I felt like an intrusive amount of nostalgia enter me at my brain. That was... That's quite the dated reference. I still don't know what that song was about, by the way. Is it literal or figurative? What is a milkshake? I said I'll get it. Um, sir, is there something I can help you with? Just go ahead and say it. Speak your mind, your true mind, or whatever. I'm sure there must be some kind of mistake. Feeny wouldn't kill anyone. Feeny? Oh, that's so effing cute. <laughs> I just know it. Yes, yes, I can see why you'd say that, but I'm here to break it to your sister. You could do better. Might I suggest an older gentleman? Mm -hmm. She's going to be a tough witness, all right. It only took her 12 seconds to wrap them all around her little finger. God, I hate her. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. Let's hear all about this day you witnessed, the day of the incident, and the day that you were there and saw it. Kind of redundant way of saying it. I think it's the butterflies that creep me out the most. They have a weird FPS going on. Look at them things. Also, I, I don't remember the word for the Japanese thing, but is the, like, I guess, like, Western equivalent of a Southern Belle. That's the vibe she gives me. I don't like it. Anyway. Enough being judgy. I'm not the judge. I had been planning to go back to Feeney's place after class was over. Feeney and Dougie, they were talking behind the building. Then, suddenly, Dougie got a wobbly and just collapsed. Oh, come on. Come on. Either she's lying or Phoenix is lying. That's when Feeney noticed that I was there. I went to go and find some other students, and they called the authorities. Okay. I, I, I don't know what to say. A according to you, Miss Hawthorne, the defendant didn't do anything wrong. Nah, then how do you explain the handprint on the jacket? That's BS. Stands for battle shout, not, not nothing bad. Young lady, as yes, old as I am, even I recall how hot the flames of young passion can burn. Nevertheless, it is my job to discover the truth. Please tell us the truth. But, but, I would never. Nah, nah, come on. That's more than enough, witness. I won't allow this to continue. What do you mean? Please just tell me. Just let me proceed with my cross-examination, Your Honor. It's my job, after all. I, for one, don't plan to win my case on a bunch of paper-thin lies. Dang. You haven't changed a bit. What? Mia Fey. The dump? Y'all know each other? Maybe it's one-sided. Ooh. What's this? Are you two acquainted? Mia, could you introduce me? <laughs> uh, no, I will not. But yes, we are acquainted. We've met before, once. The dump? In any case, Miss Fay, the uh, floor's all yours. It's good to see you again, Madame Fay. Madame Fay, what? Madame? I'm no one's grandma yet, girly. Dang, Connor old. Shut your mouth. Shoo. Anyway. I had planned to go to Feeney's apartment. You know, what's he, what's his living space like? I'm really curious. F I'm going to press this. <laughs> Maybe she'll talk about it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, Feeney, I, <laughs> Mr. Wright, is in the art department. If that's the case, then why were you going to the pharmaceutical building? Well, I'm in the literature department. I'm studying Japanese senryu poetry. Oh! Oh, how wonderful! It's that humorous yet satirical style of haiku, is it yet? 
nothing left to do. When a man reaches his age, sleep is his best friend. It's supposed to be poetry? That made me cringe. Oh my god. For me to get the art department, I have to walk through this back area. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. When, when I went to the courthouse, I always walked through the front door. That's just my little tip for y'all. Best way in here is the front. Nah, I don't. How else would you enter? What? A t teleportation? Feeney and Dougie, they were talking behind the building. They were raising their voice. I was so startled. So this Dougie person. Oh, I'm sorry. Doug Swallow. They were dating until eight months ago. Old habits are hard to break, I suppose. So, what were Doug... What was Mr. Swallow and Mr. Wright talking about? Maymays. Oh, excuse me. You refer to them as means. <laughs> oh no, she's crying! How could you be so mean? I would never, never eavesdrop. I wasn't raised to be so rude and unrefined. That's right, Miss Faye. We're not all cretins like you! Don't try to win us down to your level. A lawyer. God. Why am I being demonized? <laughs> what the heck? Please just continue. Ignore the harlot. <laughs> okay, harlot's pretty, pretty, pretty... That's over the line. Suddenly, Dougie collapsed. He was all wobbly, probably drinking again. <laughs> Are you saying the victim just collapsed on his own? Not even a breeze took him out? Yes. In other words, the defendant never touched the victim? Is that what you're saying? I was watching the whole time. Feeney never did a thing to Dougie. I press him, or press her for no good reason, so the judge will get angry. But no, show the contradiction. We have the chat logs. Feeble lies are not very becoming, Miss Hearthorn. So let's just drop them, shall we? What? I, I would never lie. Dude, no, we got you. I'm not allowing you to badger my witness, my precious, unsoiled witness! What? I believe the defense is engaged in a fishing expedition. That is, ergo, she has no support. I. This is evidence, right? Where's the. Do we not have. Frick, we don't have. But they said that! Oh, but it's not evidence. Man, that's bullcrap, bruh. Please don't glare at me like that. I'm just doing my job. Now then, Miss Hearthorn. Okay, thank God. The defendant's palm print was found on Mr. Swallow's leather jacket. Were you aware? It was already been shown that Mr. Wright did, in fact, push the victim down. Oh, or were you not here for that? What? There's no need to try to cover for the defendant. It would be much better if you came out and just told us the whole truth. Mm, yeah. You made an oopsie, I'm afraid. There's nothing to worry about, young lady. It's okay. Everybody gets a free oopsie. Oh, it's no big deal. Just tell us everything that you know. Y yes, Your Honor. I, I will. If you don't mind, I'd like to revise my testimony. Looks like we're finally getting there. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, I didn't see the moment Dougie was pushed. Bull crap! Just literally a 180. Come on! You didn't see it? What? I saw the moment when Dougie fell to the ground, but... Ah, at the time, there was only the two of them at the scene. The defendant, Mr. Phoenix Ryan, the victim, Dougie Swallow, correct? Yes, that's right. That didn't give me anything, what? Looked like they were fighting. I didn't hear anything unusual either. Uh... So then, what did it look like they were doing to you? I thought they were having a nice, friendly afternoon conversation. It was very delightful. Or so I thought. Oh, give me a break, girl! So I wasn't watching them all that closely. Really? Your ex and current boyfriend are chatting it up, and you're not even a little, you know, into- Come on! Oh, come on, man! People are jealous! I should know! People watch other YouTubers, I go ballistic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? No, nothing at all, Mr. Judgey Wudgey. Mmm. 
I like the sound of that. Judgey would you? <laughs> uh. Anywho, now, now then, please, oh, oh, please proceed with the testimony. I feel like that's. Oh, she's still talking. God dang! I want to go find the other students, and they call the authorities. Cause just, he fell down. He fell down. Oh boo hoo! He's a man. It's all right. He's sturdy, probably. Everyone in Phoenix Wright has really broad shoulders. He could take it. When you say students, do you mean students from the pharmaceutical department? Yes. They're all very fond of their drugs. Please try to stay on topic. I, I don't want to hear about these drugs. Yuck. So to find some pharmaceutical student, you went to the labs, correct? That's what I was planning to do. But in the end, I wound up not going. A group of about 10 research students came running out of the building entrance. Somehow they all seemed to know what was going on. That is incredible. Incredibly odd. What? The students knew what was going on? No. What? How do you... Were they all watching? More intentively than you? A person that was right by them? How could the students have known what was happening? Well, I don't know for sure. But they knew what had happened. It's just they all seemed kind of excited about something. I am perplexed. What? I can't even, in my mind's eye, I can't even piece this scenario together. Which usually means it's a fit. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get any more info about the students. So are the students call the cops or what? Yes, it was just so, uh, I was so panicked. Mm, now, now, it's okay, you're safe here. Anyone would have been, my dear dear. She's telling a super obvious lie and she knows it. She's just pretending to protect Mr. Wright. But what? That's gotta be it. Way to go, Mia. Okay, that means I'm gonna have to dig deeper to find the contradiction. I'm having problems on this one. Like, legit. Piece it together. Okay, I... Come on. Find the other students. Call the authorities. It didn't look like they were fighting. I didn't hear anything unusual. Let's look at my evidence. Hold up. Crime took place, Ivy League building. Sure, maybe there's a window nearby and they all looked there. She didn't mention a time. Thing fell on top of his umbrella, there's a loud sound. Oh! Oh, a loud sound! Didn't look like they were fighting. I didn't hear anything unusual! Holy moly! Why did that take me so long? A what? Does this evidence establish anything at all? Oh god, I shouldn't have done the umbrella. I should have... Yeah, okay. I jumped the gun there. I was trying... Man, I really took a hit on the first one. God dang it. All right. It was bound to happen eventually. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. You don't gotta be perfect, dang it. Okay. Victim fell. There was a loud sound. Did I do Phoenix's testimony? Or did I pick the umbrella? I feel like I picked I picked the testimony. Also, I didn't read this. The dump is this about murder in the courtroom. Okay. Very little information is being disclosed. The signs. Blah, blah blah blah. The incident in the district courthouse cafeteria is said to have been said to have been a lawyer. However, police are questioning the 19-year-old female college student who's sitting with the victim. This was this was eight months ago. Okay, that's, that's, did she kill somebody? I feel like that's not a stretch, right? How the heck? How did you kill anybody? I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to insult her. I feel like a gentle breeze would cut her in half. She probably doesn't get out a lot. Okay, don't look like they were for fighting and hear anything unusual. I guess she was talking about the talking. I'm gonna go find the other students they called the authorities. I'm just so, this, this is weird. Phoenix's fingerprints, okay. Victim watched the stop, the victim watched stop time of death. 
fatal electric shock. I... Mm, I'm gonna have to risk another damage here, but... Okay, that was... I did the umbrella by accident! I was like, no, that's like, there's only one or two. You say you didn't hear anything unusual. Is that correct? Yes, that's why I was very relaxed, looking at the scenery around me. I'm afraid. You messed up, you messed up! That's nice for you and all, but I find that just a little odd. I have here the testimony of the your boyfriend, Mr. Phoenix Wright, and he clearly testified to the effect that when he pushed the victim, he heard a sharp, loud noise. You look like someone who cleans their ears often. So, whatever that means. So! He, he said that? Oh no. If you really were that close to the two of them, why didn't you hear this noise as well? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, boy, we got it! Woo! Maybe the noise just wasn't that memorable. <laughs> no, horse crap. According to Mr. Wright's testimony, it was a sharp, snapping noise. There was no way a noise like that could fail to make an impression. Well... Uh, um... May I have a moment to answer? By all means, go ahead, madame. I know the reason why I didn't remember the noise. You see, the truth is, I had my headphones on and was listening to music at the time. That is horse crap. Ain't no way you had your CD player with you in circa 2008. 2000, 2002, whatever the frick time was. I don't know. It was five years ago, so it's probably even a Walkman. I headphones? You mean the, but you had both of your ears covered? The rain was just beginning to let up, you see. It seems as though Thor wasn't ready for his fun to come to an end just yet. So the sky continued to flash and rumble. Thunder and lightning, huh? Okay, sure. Yes, I'm afraid the sound of thunder. So I put my headphones on to block it out. You're afraid of thunder, okay. Well, your honor, she has a fear of thunder and lightning so she's put headphones on. Come on, we've all been there. We've all done it. As you can see, there aren't any contradictions in her testimony. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm doing patty cake myself. Mm. Wait a sec, Mia. The testimony just now. She said something that could totally change the whole case. She didn't hear anything. She was listening to music. There was lightning. Oh my god, yeah, the, the umbrella! Your honor, there is a problem with the witness's testimony. Wait, did I pick the wrong one? Uh-oh. I'm starting to doubt it. Didn't you notice? She said there was lightning. Correct? Well, yeah, but wh what about it? Lightning is actually a large discharge of electricity in the atmosphere. Am I right? Well, that's not a time for a meteorology lesson, Miss Faye. Your Honor, anyway, it actually is. Because the cause of death was electrocution. Isn't it possible the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning? <laughs> okay, I mean... Not impossible. But come on. I must admit, the thought had not occurred to me, as that is usually not an occurrence. So what kind of thoughts do occur in this guy's mind anyway? Uh, anyway, this entire case is built on the premise that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered. But that very premise itself is mistaken. The def so he actually died by Mother Nature? The defense believes Mr. Swallow was in fact the victim of a stray bolt. So maybe there was no murderer. God dang. It appears the defense may be on us something. Now, nah, could it be that the def death of that their gentleman was actually accidental? All right, you did it, Mia. You bought yourself some time. Go, go. I'll be, what the? Come on, bro. You let me read that. <laughs> I'm hurt that you have such low opinion of me, Miss Faye. I don't, I don't think about you often at all. Like, I, I, I mean, how would I develop an opinion? What? 
I'm not a fool, you know. The prosecution has done its research. Your Honor, we found that there were no lightning strikes on the day of that location. What? What's more? Oh, we have evidence that electric cable is definitely linked to the case. Well, so much for that crap. Uh, M Mr. Payne, what, what is this evidence you're talking about? This affidavit. Talking about Union Jack, who's this affidavit fella? This guy, this guy's name's mixed up. Should be David Affid. Just sounds better in my opinion. Uh, uh, who, uh, who, uh, who is the affidavit from? Is he from down south or is he more of a northern fella? The pharmacology students who conducting experiments in labs that day. Allow me to read the court testimony out. Okay. <clears throat> I really need a license. Jesus Christ. All equipment in the labs lost power all of a sudden at around 3 p.m. that day. A oh, blackout? Oh, was that it? Wow. All oh, the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, Your Honor. So you're saying the equipment lost power because... Precisely. They lost power because they severed the electric cable. The power outage occurred at 3 p.m. Approximately. So the time of death was in the autopsy. Okay, okay. But Phoenix said he talked to him at 2.45. If he is telling the truth, then... Uh... Exactly. In other words, the victim died as a result of touching the severed electro cable. Well, then how the cable get severed? Hold up. According to the students, the cables were very old. They were planning on having them replaced near in the near future. I see. But wait, what? What? Just because you touch a down power out, like that, that would not create a blackout. I I'm confused. Where is he going with this? Apparently the cable had been so brittle that even the smallest bump could have caused them to break. So, so he bumped into the pole? Is that it? Come on. The old power cable broke due to some sort of impact on 4-9 at 2.55 p.m. Dang. I mean, what? However, there's one thing that troubles me. The cable could have been broken by any small bump there. And then one of them snapped it would, it would, if it hadn't been bumped into. Is that correct? I... Well, I suppose you could say that. When do they sue for negligence on the school's part? that That's a safety hazard. Phoenix cannot be, like, held accountable for that. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't know how court works. These games aren't really a good testament to that, but, uh... Yeah, that's bullcrap. Uh, all right, Miss Ray. Uh, even though the school is clearly at fault for this faulty wiring, do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the silver cabal? Uh, your honor? Uh, I don't like how this is looking one bit. I have to come up with something to try to regain some momentum. Okay. Um, if it pleases the court, the defense would like to state its opinion. Well, let's hear it. What a, what caused that cable to break? The, the, the umbrella. Well, hold on. Maybe that isn't such a f stretch after all. We knew it went flying, and it also happened to be over the. But it fell on him. No, it fell under him. Uh, I mean, what else is an item that could move like that, though? The cold killer X? Uh, I don't feel like being funny right now. Oh, Johnny, we're well aware. Shut up. Okay, let's just try the umbrella first. It didn't look so hot. Wait, no, what? This is it. This is why the cable snapped. Well, Your Honor, how do you feel about that? Oh. Well, the only thing that snapped is the mind of the defense. <laughs> That's so mean. And that was your best line ever, Mr. Honor. <laughs> this is... This is... Uh... That was so harsh. Please, Your Honor, give me one more chance. Oh. Oh, okay. Why not? What caused the cable to break? Uh... I am so clueless. Some sort of impact? I mean, yeah, but impact from what? 
I got nothing. I, is it a person? Do we say Phoenix? Cause I mean, uh, that sucks. Stop at time of death. Why is he holding the bottle? I still don't get that. Well, I don't think the Cold Killer X bottle flew when Phoenix pushed him, hit the pole, and then fell back into his hand, tightly gripped. So it could be, yeah, Phoenix's testimony. That uh, the victim fell on top of his umbrella, and I guess that would indicate him pushing him? No, no, we failed again. Oh, no, no, we're good. Dear Honor, please think back to Mr. Wright's testimony. A defense testimony? Uh, he said, Jesus, F and cry. I jumped. Ugh. He said that he pushed the victim. He heard a loud, sharp noise. Now, this happened at around 3 p.m., correct? Yes. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Well, uh, what, what are you getting at? The lab equipment lost power at 2.55, which fits right into Mr. Wright's testimony and timeline. In other words... It was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power out. Yeah. I, I mean, we didn't have an option but to say that. The prosecution also came to the same conclusion. I don't know why you're talking about. And that very shove that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted. Well, I'm afraid I can't agree with you there, Mr. Payne. Well, uh, uh, Take a good look at where the victim landed after being shoved. Yeah, he's not even close to that. See the umbrella? It's by the electric pole. That's right, the victim banged into the pole as a riddle being pushed. It was the impact that caused the cable to break. Uh, okay. And when the victim was electrocuted, no, no, no. That's where you have it wrong. I'm sorry, Your Honor. It doesn't make sense at all. I don't follow, what? If the victim was shoved into the far pole, then he couldn't have been electrocuted by this severed cable in the foreground here. Oh, you're right. They're too far apart. Oh, crap. In other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. Yeah, I don't add up. Shoot. Well, I, well, I, got, I got there in the end, but the lamentations of my enemy. How I've longed to hear them. God, I love me a face so effing much. Jesus Christ. It's true. He does. He talks about her all the time. It's kind of a, she's a tertiary character in the grand scheme of things. It's kind of odd. <clears throat> uh, the, also, the defense is very correct. There doesn't seem to be any way the defendant could have... Um, Mr. Judge, sir? May I please say something? The Madame Attorney's explanation. She said something... Some things that are a little different than how I remember them. Uh... What the heck? How are you going to worm your way out of this? Please, just once more. It's all I ask for. May I please testify one last time? Mr. Judge? Uh... Mm, of course, all right. Go ahead. Just get to it and give your new testimony. Please. This is it. She's finally starting to show her true colors. Ooh, I'm ready. So, what is it this time? What I really witnessed, part two. The truth is, Feeney pushed him twat. Oh, come on! Co uh, what? What the fr- He got up, and he said, Oh, back for more? Uh, pushed him down again. He's a real animal, that Feeney. Oh, God, I love him. Like, come on! Come on! The first time was into the electric pole. And that's when the cable broke. Then Dougie tried his best to run away from him, but Feeney caught up and crashed him into him from behind, the cable snapping and Dougie being electrocuted. It all occurred in less than a minute. You saw all of that. What? So after being shoved, the victim got up and tried to run away, is that right? That fiend. That's when the defendant pushed him again. I'm so sorry, Feeney. But I just have to tell the truth. <laughs> Am I doing the right thing? Am I really, Mr. Judge? Of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may be, you'll love again. He ain't all that. I'm, 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 really, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. 
Uh, anyway. Oh, Miss Fay, you may proceed with your cross. Just do, do it! Do it! Now! Okay. Uh, I have a couple ideas. Uh, first and foremost, what the heck? Uh, here's a peep. <laughs> the idea of him being pushed twice is so silly. Bro, you, you downloaded him. You had Phoenix's frame data. His 6H ain't that fast. Like, you can, you can block it. Come on. Miss Hawthorne, previously in your testimony, you said the following. Actually, I didn't see the, mo the moment he pushed Dougie. I know. I'm sorry. I wanted to protect my dear Feeny. So that's why you basically lied to the court. No, no, no. You lied to the court. Can the stand wit- can, can the- can everyone just hear it again? She lied in court. I was a bad girl, I know. Um, Mr. Judge? Oh yes, madame. Would you please forgive little old me? This sucks! Quit zipping! Quit it! Oh, come on, come on. It's just a little white lie. We've all been there. Come on. Not me. What the heck? Where's my... Oh, for, well, forget it this time, but please be more careful in the future. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Judge. Not at all. Oh, 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 oh. The judge had better be more careful himself. A dark alley is friendlier than that girl. I agree. She's playing them all like fiddles. I should know. Devil went down to Georgia was about me. I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about my youth, but it was a crazy time. I didn't even I didn't want the violin. I just wanted to win. What can I say? Just like I want to win this case. Let's have and go. The first time was the electric pole. That's when the cable broke. Okay, okay, okay. You're saying you actually saw the victim get pushed in the electric pole? I know he doesn't look it, but Feeney can be a bit of an imp when he wants to be. An imp? Uh, 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 really? That guy? Okay. I never imagined that he would cause an electric cable to break. Feeney really is scary when he gets mad. And somewhat sexy. Oh no, I said it in court. <laughs> Strike that from the record, please. Uh, he sounds very, uh, devilish indeed. Uh, well, anyway. When Dougie tried his best to run away from him, Feeney caught up and crashed into him from behind. So from behind. Then what about the umbrella? Uh, that could explain the umbrella actually. Crap. That doesn't sound quite right. There were handprints found on the chest of the victim's leather jacket. Mr. Payne. Were there also prints on the back of his leather jacket? Well, I uh, know there weren't. Madam Fay, may I suggest that you listen a little more carefully? Huh? I said that he crashed into him from behind. Miss My Feeny wouldn't leave any prints behind in that case, would he? Uh, maybe a face print if he hit him face first? I don't, uh. Cable snapping and Doug being electrocuted it's all occurred in less than a minute. Um, I mean, okay. Because the way I'm envisioning this, right, wouldn't that mean Phoenix would also get electrocuted? Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Did you actually witness the moment the victim was electrocuted? Or is that another one of your white lies? I'm sorry, I didn't actually see that. Uh, I turned my eyes away. That's understandable. Seeing your beloved, your ex-beloved, do some heinous crime. <laughs> Indeed, it would have been a horrific sight for any to behold. I, if I don't figure out the contradiction here, it's all over. She didn't have much time to come up with her lies. There ha this is my best chance. Must be a hole in the testimony. Okay. I'll try again. The first time is the electric pole. Problem is, I don't have a lot of evidence here. Dougie tries best to run away. Okay. So let me get this straight. You were happily listening to music on your headphones while you're watching these two fight it out. What? Miss Fay, I'll have to ask you to stop badgering the witness. It's not my fault she's a pushover. I wasn't happy. I was so scared that I couldn't even move. All I could do was stand there and cheer them on. What? Huh? Che cheer them on? Come on. Wh what do you mean by that? Well, I wish for the best for both, and that they would each give the, the, the fight their all. What a psycho. Oh my god. I love it when they fight over me. Literally kick rocks. Oh my god. 
That's a very sweet of you to be so supportive. <laughs> Whatever, man. God, I hate simp culture. Johnny, you really can't talk, man. Your opening line of this Let's Play was, and I quote, I know, I'm a hypocrite, whatever. It's me, F.A., though. Come on. Ugh, I'm effing confused. Okay, hold up. Evidence. Crime took place. Okay. If he crashed into him again, that might explain... Yeah, that would explain... Uh, that would explain the thing moving. If he crashed into him, then why... Why does he have the cold killer in his hand? That's a little weird. Wait, the time. Can we use that? Hold up. She mentions time at some point. Less than a minute. She does. Okay. Less than a minute. I got this. I'm pretty sure. Occurred in less than a minute. But, wait, what does the autopsy say? Some sort of impact, 255. Cause of death, 3. And his clock... Where is that? Says... 3... 345. Oh, no, that's 940. Wait, what the frick? That's completely wrong. God dang it, it's upside down. I... Ugh, okay. Then, yeah, that's it. <sighs> is this a shoe in though? F it, I got HP to blow. YOLO! Does anyone even say that anymore? Or is that one of those ancient memes? That's enough, witness. Your perjury ends now. I'm afraid I don't understand. You will in a minute. Could you please take a look at this picture? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's medicine. That's one of the one Feeny likes to take care of his cold. It's not the medicine I want you to look at, okay? It's the wristwatch. It stopped at the precise time the victim was electrocuted. In other words, 3.05 p.m. Uh, okay then. Herm, kind of random? It's not random. My point is this. What time was it when the lab suffered the power outage due to the cable snapping? IDK? What if everyone's just really effing reluctant to tell her? That'd be really funny. Uh, the answer's clear. It was too much of a- oh, no! Would you care to explain the court, Miss Dahlia Harthorne? What exactly happened during this ten minute interval? The defense proposes that it was during the interval that the real murder- Murderer killed Mr. Doug. Yeah. That's not that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. This is nonsense. The real murderer? Come on. Nah, there's a real murderer. I'm sure of it. I think they're right here in this courtroom. Makes sense to me. It's all there, bro. I, I ain't that dumb. I'm putting it together. Even you can't deny the time between the cable broke and the electrocution are completely unaccounted for. Ten minutes is a long time. Then who was it? Who are you saying could have done it? Tch, come on. There's only one person who could have murdered Mr. Swallow. Only after my client had left the scene was there a window of opportunity for the real killer to strike. Miss Faye, is the defense ready to induct someone as the real killer? Oh yeah, I'm ready. It's finally time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Let's get it. Come on, Mia. It's go time. Oh, yes, Your Honor. We are ready. Okay. Remember, you accuse the wrong person, you gotta be penalized. And this is a big penalized. Ooh, it's gonna be like two or three. Look very carefully. Well, this is the easiest decision I've made all day. No, getting lunch was a little easy. What if it's Dahlia Hawthorne? Without a shred of doubt. It could have only been you. Dahlia! What? How? How can you? <laughs> Very easily. The defense is grasping at straws. Come on. Ten minutes passed between the time to the cable broke and the time of the electrocution. What exactly were you doing that whole time, Miss Hawthorne? Were you really listening to your walk man while cheering them both on as they fought? 
I find it hard to believe you didn't lift a finger to stop the men dearest to you. Yeah, it does make you look like a manipulative kind of... You look like a B-word. Like a bully. Or beauty. Bullies can be beautiful. You hate to love them, but I... Oh, oh, okay, Miss Miss Faye, you made a point. What? what I mean, why? 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 Miss Harthorn, I believe you did the... You witnessed the two men fighting on that day. However, that is not all. After Mr. Wright pushed the victim and subsequently left the scene, it was you who pushed Miss Swallow to his death by your own hands. How can you say something so mean, Madam Faye? I didn't do anything that you can prove. <laughs> Most Faye, this is... Huh? What? Whoa! Phoenix! Your Honor, please! I have something I have to say. At you! <laughs> what is it now, Phoenix? Please, strike everything the fence said just now from the record! What? What are you doing? Are you daft? You're totally wrong, Miss Faye. D Dolly. Sh she. She couldn't do something like that. Oh my god, Phoenix. No, man. You're wrong. R -r -r right, get back in your seat. Your, t your time will is not here. Bailiff, grab that man. Get him. Get him. All right, man. I'm sorry. You don't. Ow, you don't get push. Leave my Dolly alone. <laughs> <coughs> oh crap, I got hiccups. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not even kidding. Oh god. 